Whether you know it or not, there are a lot of animals running around in your backyard that you at best catch a few glimpses of. Maybe you see a squirrel running around or you catch a deer kind of sneaking away. But what goes on when you're at work or at night when you're in bed? What's going on out here in your yard? Scientists have a trick for learning what animals are living in a certain area and it's called a camera trap. And you can set one of these in your own backyard to find out what animals are living there as well. The way it works basically is it's a camera connected to a motion sensor and then it saves the images on a memory card on the inside. So you can leave one of these out strapped to a tree in your backyard for a couple weeks and then come back, get the memory card and see what's been running around. But that's a little bit of delayed gratification. What about a live camera trap that would show you what's going on right at every moment? Now these do exist uh, made out of traditional camera traps, but they're typically very expensive units and um, they send the information back to you through the cell phone technology because that's what you need if you're gonna be out in the middle of the woods. But there's a new device that'll work in your own backyard, sending you the information back on your own Wi-Fi, which means no extra charges. And that's called the Blink Camera. And I'm gonna show you how to set one of these up to be a camera trap in your own backyard. So this is the Blink Camera. It is designed as an inside security camera kind of thing that you put somewhere maybe on a bookshelf and it's got basically a motion sensor and a camera. So whenever somebody or a dog or a baby moves in front of the camera, it's designed to turn on and then send you uh, the video clip that it records. So it's, uh, it's a really nice compact little unit and it is basically a motion sensor, a camera trap, and a Wi-Fi connection. Um, now the unit also comes with this, they call this a sync module. And originally I thought it was some kind of Wi-Fi booster. It's not, I'm not really sure exactly what it's for, uh, but you wanna plug this in um, near, near where you're using it uh, and it somehow helps synchronize the unit. The other great thing that I found about this product is that all the images come to your phone and all the controls are on your phone as well. So you could use the phone to turn it on and off, to change the sensitivity. I found sometimes, uh, like if, if someone's mowing the lawn, I'll get all of these pictures and I can just go in and turn it off for a little while and turn it back on. Or if I'm getting too many pictures of little birds that I don't want, I'll change the sensitivity. So this has been really great to get, uh, to have not only to see the live pictures, but then also to have the control. Um, now, this is not an outside product, and I'm telling you how to use it outside, but you know it might break because it's not made for that, and I'm sure it won't be covered under warranty if you do. So if you do that, remember, it's at your own risk. The trick is, this is not made to be waterproof. It's got a USB port here, and um, it's pretty easy to open up, and there's no waterproof seals or anything. Um, but I have found that it's pretty well put together. It feels like kind of uh, plasticky, uh, but so far it's held up really well. and. Um, I didn't just stick this outside because here in North Carolina we get huge thunderstorms and it for sure wouldn't survive that. But I, used, I built a pretty minimal protection just using this little Rubbermaid container um, and all I did was cut a little hole in it and then I used that plastic up here to make a little roof to help avoid the uh, block the rain going in. Um, and then the, the blank unit fits right in here. snap this together and you can see the motion sensor, um, the, the lens and the flash are all uh, viewing out and, um, and the images are great and so far this has held up really well. I've been doing this for a few months now. We've had some torrential downpours and it has worked beautifully. So again, no guarantee if you try this and it gets destroyed by the weather, it's going to be your own fault. But I can tell you based on my own experience, this has worked really well. And um, it, it, the, one, the, the one thing I have done after a couple really big rains is I'll bring the unit in just to make sure it gets a complete dry out because if you leave it out in humidity for months at a time, uh, it is going to uh, get some corrosion on it. So if you're going to try this and you get a lot of rain, you might want to bring it in every once in a while, put it underneath the fan or something. But generally, this is the setup that I've been using and I'm very happy with it so far even though it's basically just uh, a camera in a Rubbermaid. So here we are in the front yard where I've been running this camera for a while and basically all I've done is taken the little uh, camera in the enclosure and um, just strapped it to a bench here with a couple bungee cords, uh, propped it up with a stick so it's aimed down and here you can see uh, I've got the little roof and it's aimed this way and so any animals that come walking through here are going to trigger the camera and get a picture. And overall it's been working great. I've been amazed for example at the battery life. I've been using the same batteries for months and it's still showing a really high battery power. Um, the only disappointing thing is, is that the trigger time is a little slow, 
So sometimes you catch just the very end of an animal, and the very beginning of the video is sometimes a little garbled, um, so sometimes you miss the very beginning of the action. But you know, you're getting an amazing product here for about $100. Um, this is a very economical, so I'm, I'm very happy with what I've got so far. I've had a lot of fun running these blink camera trap in my backyard and getting these live updates during the day of uh, deer or crows walking through my yard. Uh, and also at night, waking up the next morning actually and seeing the activity that's been going on at night, which is usually when all the action is. So that's when I get pictures of the foxes, the raccoons, or the house cats, or other animals cruising through the backyard. So if you get one of these, you're going to want to turn off your, your ringer at night so you don't get buzzed every time a raccoon walks by. But it's pretty fun to wake up in the morning and check out what you've got. Now the camera isn't the highest resolution video camera, um, so maybe that's something that, that they'll improve in the future, but I think the lower resolution helps the images to come through really fast. So you'll see, you can watch these videos one after, one after each other really quick, and uh, the resolution honestly is pretty good. What you're going to find your biggest limitation, depending on how big your yard is, is how far the Wi-Fi is going to go. So you might find yourself, after you buy one or two of these, buying some Wi-Fi routers to expand uh, the reach of your Wi-Fi, which if you have teenagers, they'll probably appreciate as well.